Science you can try at home. Hi guys, welcome back. A um, little bit of science and technology today. Earlier on in the week, I gave you a challenge to see if you could make a bridge just out of plain old bits of newsprint that you'd find in your free newspaper or hanging around the house somewhere and some tape. So how could we do that? Well, the tip that I wrote down for people was you could try doing this. If you roll it up tight, you can make yourself little tubes that end up being structurally quite strong. So let's try that. So keep it as tight as you can. Now you might find that you don't need all of that paper. So like if you're, if paper is a limited resource for you, you might say, oh, I actually only need half of that to make a tube. So let's do that. Because um, we're not about wasting things here. Keep your, keep your rolling up that you do really, really tight and it'll, it'll work a bit better. So imagine it ending up like a short, short stout straw. Once you get the hang of it, and you only need the smallest bit of tape on there to hold it together. And I've got like one of my structural bits, right? So we will um, make a few more of those and we'll see if we can start making a structure. I'll give you, give you some ideas. I'm not going to build the whole thing for you to look at, but if you just sort of You might get inspired and sort of see what I mean. So now we've got some tubes that we've made. What we can do is start to join them together. So as we talked about in previous videos, making them into triangles gives you some strength, even though it's just roll up paper. How you join them makes a bit of a difference. So give yourself a bit at the end there, a little bit of a gap. So when you bend it over, it still um, has a strong joint. Okay. And you can start to build your bridge gradually by uh, making a series of triangles. Now, even though this is just paper, you can see that that is quite strong and it can take quite a bit of weight. Uh, it's not as strong as something like wood or steel, obviously, but for paper, it's about as strong as it can be. So I might continue to make my structure along like that using the same thing. I don't need to double up. I don't need to make a whole series of tri triangles and join them up. I can use the same bit to make a different triangle. So I'll just join that on there. And you might you might have seen this design on bridges before. If I give that a bit of a join up there. pretty quickly you can see I'm starting to make quite a strong set of I'll see if I can go a bit wider there so you can see where I'm doing there after a while I've made quite a strong base of a bridge I might only need a few more because remember we, our challenge was to make a bridge between two chairs the space might only be that wide so this could be one side of my bridge if I did another one of these and then put some um, joiners in between them, 
maybe a little bit of cardboard on top, I could make quite an effective bridge that would be reasonably strong. So uh, that's an idea for you. Have a go for yourself, guys. See what you come up with. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye.